it's been a few months since I received my Ekron K1 and I just wanted to go over a few things about it. In one of my other videos, I said that this is my new favorite keyboard, the Keychron K1. I've had it for a few months now and I just wanted to give an update on how I feel about it now versus how I felt about it then and just go over what I liked, what I didn't like and some, some of the quirks of this keyboard. Let's get into things I don't like about it. The first one is the Bluetooth can be a little finicky to the point of unusable. So at times when it's connected through Bluetooth, I find that I'll hit a key and it just starts repeating that key in the window and that's very annoying and becomes unusable. I'm not sure what's going on in that case, but the workaround for me is just not to use Bluetooth and connect through the wired USB-C connection. I mean, that's not a, a really good workaround, but it is a workaround. So the current version that I have just doesn't play that well on Bluetooth. It doesn't happen all the time, but it happens enough that it's freaking annoying. Also, what I don't like about this is it's not a great gaming keyboard. For whatever reason, the keys kind of squeak a little bit, which only really comes into play when I'm using it to, to game, probably because of the, the repetitive key presses. So it's kind of annoying that way. And also coupled with the um, the Bluetooth wireless performance. It's a terrible, a terrible device for wireless gaming. Uh, there's quite a little bit of latency to start off and sometimes the latency comes and goes. It might be interference, but it's not a great gaming keyboard, wired or wireless. Usually I can get a day and a half out of wireless performance before it starts disconnecting and uh, requiring a battery charge from the little red light in there, which isn't great for a wireless keyboard. I pretty much just have it connected in and use it wired anyway. So it kind of defeats the purpose of it, but I think just the form factor and the size of it and the feel of it kind of lets me overlook that. But as a wireless keyboard, not so great. So first off, what I liked about it is that it is a very thin mechanical keyboard and I will contrast that with a just a regular mechanical keyboard. So this one here is like a HyperX whatever. So you can see the size difference and the thinness is just what I prefer. So that's a personal thing. Second is that it does allow for multiple device hookups through the Bluetooth connection. So that's pretty cool if you have multiple devices that you want to switch between during your regular daily usage. And I found that useful in a couple of cases where I connected it to my, my uh, desktop and then also the iPad. So I'm able to switch between those two devices fairly easily. And this is another subjective thing, but I do feel like it has pretty decent touch and feel. So it has a nice compromise between clickiness and also quietness and smoothness. So it's a mixture between a red and a blue keyboard where the blue is really clicky and the reds have no click at all. So I found these Gatoron Browns a pretty good compromise. The build quality is also fairly good. It's made out of aluminum. It's pretty solid and it has shown no sign of wear and tear since I bought it. So over the months of usage, my conclusion is that this has been my go-to keyboard for programming. It is not perfect by any means, the Bluetooth, and the battery life really, really takes it down a couple of notches in terms of being a perfect keyboard. But um, I do like the, the low profile and the thinness of it 
and it is a really comfortable keyboard for me to be doing things like coding all day long with it. So that is my review of the Keychron K1. Hope you found it useful. If not, then whatever. Bye.